Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Reich as Georgia. Let's continue on for last month. So we're slowly pushing our way into Germany. We, we, we made solid, solid progress the past few episodes. Like Austria is dead, Poland's dead, Lithuania surprisingly is still alive, but like they're not going to be alive for too much longer. Okay, let's hold all our troops in position for at least right now. Where do we want to go? I mean, this is an interesting spot because it would allow. Not necessarily the encirclement, but we'd be looking pretty good in this area here. Yeah, let's let's do it. Because it's going to get the AI to kind of either send troops away from Danzig, or they'll just keep their troops here and hopefully not have enough supplies to actually maintain that garrison. Who is this guy on this bicycle? Get him out of here. Looks like it's the Flemish, because of course it is. Who Who is not capitulate? Bohemia technically is not. Really? Oh yeah, we haven't gone into Behemoth yet. I thought it was actually part of Romania when I was first looking at the uh, the load. Flanders is definitely not dead yet. Germany's not dead. Pol like is is Lithuania not not dead? No, they are. Okay, never mind. So, like you're moving a lot of troops in this, in this area. Like I don't really know why you're moving so many over here. I understand you want to protect Danzig, but. Might be like a little bit much. Let, like, let's draw our front line towards Berlin. Do any of you. Yes, you have one more soldier. I'm going to immediately take you. Sign the Green Army. He's mine now. Like, you are no longer allowed to own this person. He is mine. So, what are these? Uh... Okay, never mind. We have like two little notifications, but apparently they actually aren't anything. Okay, now that we have taken this. You stay here for right now. We'll kind of see what the AI wants to do. Which immediately looks like they actually kind of want to like leave this position. Which is okay by me. Like let's fight in like this. You guys go towards Danzig. Then you're going to go around like this. I mean you're not going to really send more troops in here are you? Like that... To me, seems like it's the wrong choice. I mean, you're trying to attack your way out, but, like, I can't see how that works for you. Yeah, in order to say they're trying to get some units out of here. So why don't you go here? You go here. Do s Okay, actually, you do not meet up with that province. But, I mean, we're, we're making solid, solid progress. For sure. We can't have the international take too much territory from Germany, otherwise... Um, our cut of the spoil is going to be a little bit, uh, underwhelming, let's just put it that way. So you are, you're level 1 force, so that's a 15% attack decrease. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not what we want, because we want, of course, no, uh, attack decreases at all. You really did not dislodge this guy, really? Why don't you attack here? I mean, let's try to attack, like, one more time. If we can make you retreat, that'll at least be an encirclement on this one infantry division. It's not horrible. We did not actually manage to get the push here going. So, I mean, Russia has troops here. Ukraine has troops here, of course. Like, where are you guys... I'm just trying to think, like, what even makes the most amount of sense right now. Because, actually, a lot of the provinces we're kind of pushing our way into is, are not going that nicely. Can we even afford to upgrade our rifles? Are we missing any? No, we're up by 20,000. So, no, we can easily go over to infantry equipment 3 without uh, too much problems. And apparently, we have no more civilian factories, so never mind. Okay, so the Kaiser is dead. Of course, you reinforce with one division as soon as uh, we're close to killing you off. Let's just throw a few more men in here just in case. Is there any troops we could send? No, se sending men over to um, to the Danish front, I don't think a lot makes a lot of sense for us at the moment. I think where we are is completely okay. Please don't send reinforcements over here. Like I would uh, really appreciate it if you don't. We have air superiority, so that's good. 
And after this, I mean, we'll go for the anti-tank. I mean, like, why not? Wait, so you're at 89. Like, you're getting closer to where we need you to be. You have... How many troops are in this province? There are a lot of men in this province. I mean, low supplies, multiple combats, low fuel. I mean, they're, again, they're technically in a port province, so they are getting supplies. But the amount of supplies a one-level um, port can get you in a province with 34 troops in it. Why did you stop attacking? Keep on attacking this idiot. I mean, he's got 700 defense, which is pretty good. But we can do better than that. Okay, we've got some rural development schemes. Follow you up by lowering taxes. Okay, now you're going to be encircled. We'll get you killed pretty easily. Rush is leading the charge against you. Like, why is your attack, why is your defense value, I should say, so high? Entrenchment 50%. Modified to 232% because of these modifiers, which right now add up to 100 and... About 100%? So I'm not too sure how this math is working out in their favor. Because I feel like those numbers are just wrong. Okay, so you guys have defeated... Well, soon you're going to kick off the Japanese. Defeat defending government. So I mean, you guys have done a pretty decent job. I mean, again, there's like four different republics of China, but that's because I accidentally screwed up my... Uh... I screwed up, basically. We'll kick you guys out of here. Survive this attack. We'll kind of keep on pushing our way towards like Poisson. Get our way down to Breslau and Berlin. Can we push our way into uh... Like no like how are like how is this 100 and... Okay. Let me just do the quick math. So 100% is default. So 76%. That is 55... 67.5 minus 3.3 .3 is not 76.6. So I feel like somebody somewhere uh, is failing their math. And I, I think it, it might be me, uh, honestly. I don't think it is. But I, I, will, I will admit that is a possibility. Okay, let's push into these provinces. Do the best we can. You're at 72. You're at 66. Okay, now hold off for a second. Let our reinforcements come back here. Don't delete the entire army. That would be a, uh, a mistake on our part. Do you guys take Kiel? You've gotten the city surrounded, so you're doing pretty all right. Germany currently is at 70%. We need to get them down to about 10%-ish. In order for their uh, capitulation event to actually fire. Yeah, and I, I think the uh, the Japanese are definitely going to lose their war in due time. I think they need to kill Transmir and then take over all of Korea. And we'll, we'll see if they can get that done. And I think they probably can. Well, actually, Limit Green's army just to be in the far north. I mean, these are our um, puppet units, so they're not, like, as great as uh, they could be. Get one and one. Immediately send these guys over to the front lines. Have fun dying in the uh, German mud. What can I do with you guys? Nothing. You're lying to me about your ability to upgrade. I uh, do not appreciate it. You're three, three, one, one, two. I mean, it's not not great, but I guess it's also not uh, not the worst in the world. Uh, let's go for not breakthrough. Let's even though it's a 1943 attack, let's go for night vision anyways. Okay, I don't know if you're ever gonna actually break your way through Danzig. You have taken over all of this. I mean, that's technically part of Third International. But we're doing, I would say, a pretty decent job. We 
Okay, now, and actually, no, Russia's, Russia's made a breakthrough. Uh, which is really nice. Which means that, like, I want to try to support this breakthrough, if at all possible. Do not be on the Polish border. Just focus on the Germans. I mean, this is looking like a weaker spot. So, again, we'll try to push our way through. Okay. I just, I just don't know where they're getting these numbers from. Like, to me, that doesn't add up. Because it's supposed to add up to 273. I can see it adding up to, like, 150. But I think 273 is going to be a bit much. Modify the 176. Okay, you know what? All you hold position. You have 1,933 defense. How does this add up to 443? To be honest, I just don't think it does. But you know what, Green Army? You should just go assist the Russians, actually. Is this... No, you're the closest port. Go to... Go to here, and then go to roll stock. I mean, this this definitely looks like a weaker front than where I'm currently pushing, and you know, if we can kind of direct the AI to go in more sensible directions, you know, I think that would uh, benefit us. Okay, take all of you. You do get a bonus for a uh, war on two fronts. Didn't actually know that. Good to know. It's a little bit more of an organization boost. But like, how am I going to push through? If you have, like, 2,000 defense, how do you push through that? Like, you have one... Enemy air superiority. Air support plus 25. But again, it's 50 plus 60. 110. 167. It goes up to like 190, so this should be a 290% modifier. Which is still pretty good, but it's not 433. Hold, hold your position. Like, are you getting the same modifiers on this front as well? Fifty... Five... Like, you're starting, like, again, it's like, it's off? And I find that so strange, like, how it's off. I mean, Ger again, Germany's dead. There there's no denying the, the deadness of Germany. Like, they're not long for this world. Okay, is there any other front that we can maybe try to push? Like, not really. Like, a lot of these guys are really, really well defended. Maybe we could go to Krakow and try to, like, push, like, these two provinces. Here's the question. Does anybody else have any same modifiers? Austria. Modify the 90%, which is 30. Offset by that. If anything, they actually might be doing slightly worse than the numbers are saying. Very strange. But I might also just be talking on my ass. That's also very uh, possible. Uh, we don't really need to change any of this stuff for now. Danzig? How much does Danzig work? We're 15 victory points. Like, it is an important city. Shrink green line down to here. Where the hell are you? You want to... No, 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 no. No, hold position. Go here and then to Rostock. Yeah, because there's technically a, uh, a land route. The AI always prefer land routes. Even though that, like, that has to be slower, right? I mean, yeah, these guys are already here while well, they're all the way in northern Finland. So, of course, that's the, uh, the slower route. Okay, I mean, you are... I mean, you're pretty weak militia, a uh, uh, regular infantry division. You got two... You're from Shanghai. Like, I, I don't know how good the Shanghai units are, but I can't imagine they're, like, fantastic. Make your way to the front line. We'll try to push here and maybe take Berlin if we can. Okay, we got 
Yeah, again, like, even, even with you, like... I mean, like, 25, 51... Like, it's not as bad, but, like, it's still... Like, do we not have air superiority over Germany? We do not. There's actually a ton of German aircraft around here. Where are my planes? They're trying their best to fight here. Let's send some planes over Holstein. I think these are the international... Like, how many... Does Russia does not have an air force? Not really. Maybe it's not... I don't know. Well, no, stop, stop complaining. Like, complaining is not going to get you uh, anything done. Okay, so we've done all of these. Let's then go for... Why not an air doctrine research? Could be okay. I mean, we could maybe utilize, like, some tanks, but I think by the time we actually get tanks on the front line, it's going to be too late. Okay, so let's produce, produce more aircraft. Get more aluminum. Okay, we got some more research. Let's go for Hunt and Destroy, 189 days. I mean, we don't have that many planes, so you're getting the, uh, the bonuses for our aircraft here. Probably are not, like... The best? How many men have you lost? 4.6 to 3.87. I mean, not horrible. Yeah, none of, none of you are actually in the international. I mean, Chile is, but that's not, it's not saying much, is it? God, there's so many, so many international troops. Who, how many troops do they have? Because right now, we have 337, 338. They have at most 602. So I have a feeling we're about one to one in troop count. Okay, more reinforcements are arriving. I mean, slowly but surely, they're on their way. And again, like, you're still... Yeah, like, 2,000 defense. Like, you don't... You, you cannot break that. At least with, like, my army composition right now, like, it's just not possible. So, you know, let's get Blue Army. Let's see if we can maybe take Danzig. I mean, they have one mountain division, which is not, like, the best type of unit. They have a really, really weak infantry. Even then, these guys are very, very well defended. Even then, yeah, like, you're not supposed to be a 143, but okay. And our tr I guess our allies are also getting, like, an attack boost. Maybe it's because this is like a, an unupdated version of the game. I'm not too sure. Or what I should say, this is the version of the game from... Uh, for the patch. I don't know. I mean, you are, you're looking like a relatively weak position. But our units, our units suck. Experience, combat with, enemy superiority. Yeah, like we're being modified to half. Well, they're at 200%. Which basically makes any attack a non-starter. Is our reinforcement rate just bad? Well, neg it's negative. We're above our division limit. No, we're not. Yeah, no, I think I think we just kind of have like a broken save file. What if I, um, save and reload? Because that sometimes will fix the issue. If not, I might need to force ourselves onto, like... Okay, load this back up. I might need to, like, go into uh, total mobilization, which I don't want to do. But again, we should be at... We're at 21 out of 25. You know what the problem actually probably is? It, it, it's counting these guys against our cap, but it's not saying that it's counting them against our cap. You know, that probably actually is the issue right there. No, because, like, you reinforce immediately. Now that I've reloaded. Okay, so, like, our puppets' forces are reinforcing at the normal rate. But we are not. I'm assuming that's also probably affecting our organization and stuff too, right? Because at, at this rate, like you can't you can't win battles if you're above the at least this high above the um 
the force of a modifier. Which is unfortunate. I mean, the alternative is that I just delete this army. Give them back to our AI um, allies and see if they can maybe do something better with them. They'll probably just all go back home. It'll fix our division caps. So, like, this, this still is not working properly. Um, I think it takes, like, a week for this to fix itself. We'll probably be going for a little bit longer here. Yeah, radio, yes. Yeah, so I think it's a 4%. But, yeah, but at the end of the week, that should fix itself. I'm assuming our uh, allies have just kind of abandoned the front line. Yes, they have. They're just, they're like, yeah, no, let's just go home. We don't need to be here. There we go. Now we're attacking properly. So who knows how long I've actually been facing that, uh, that problem. Probably longer than I should have, to be honest. I wonder if the AI has that problem. Like, sometimes the AI, um... Except, like, reinforcements and stuff like that. So, I'm not too, too sure. Like, again, it's strange that our troops that we were borrowing from our AI allies were working just fine. But everybody else was kind of having a, uh, a tough time about it. And once Donzig falls... Okay, looks like, actually... We're gonna shrink this line here. Here's my plan. We shrink this line. You guys go over here, but like strategically we deploy. I want you there ASAP. To exploit this gap in the German line. If we can make our way towards uh, our allies' positions, that would be nice. Again, we'll, we'll at least try to uh, exploit this if we can. Your base value is still pretty high. Now that you are... Well, you should be considered a multiple combat, but right now you're not. Because, you know, why Why would you, right? Okay, keep on putting pressure on you. We'll keep on, like... Again, we're moving our way... I mean, I guess Berlin's still pretty far away from where we currently are. I mean, you're at 90. We'll, we can hopefully take Danzig sooner rather than later. Okay, you guys go to this province. Ukraine's going to help us out. We're only one province away from unifying all of our uh, forces here. Which should um, give us a nice little advantage. I mean, Germany right now is at 63%. We'll probably go for like... Yeah, we'll probably go until uh, 12 more minutes from now. So we'll be going. This will definitely be a longer episode, uh, for sure. But that's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're not complaining about a uh, a longer episode. Okay, so you guys are doing pretty well. Again, Sten, I mean, Sten is worth four, vi uh, four victory points. I mean, it's not the, the greatest city, but it's not bad either. And once you're taking Danzig, we'll be able to take uh, Elbing basically for free, because we'll have an insert point bonus against you. And now you're basically just dead. Send our troops back towards the front line. I mean, as long as you defend the port, which I'm hoping that you will... Any bonuses here? No. You are right now 6463. It's pretty good. It's actually really, really good. Uh, if you could redirect, um, strategically redeploy right to the front lines. Who does join the international? Okay, so. You oh, you immediately join the international now that you're no longer at war with Indalusia. Okay. Basically, what I was kind of thinking was the issue. It's going to take some German troops off our front line, which is nice. I mean, you're at war now with the Entente. You'll probably go to war with the uh, the Reichspack soon. 
Which is exactly what we want to see. Throw more troops into Stettin. Right, combat was at 120. Our units are going to re uh, be deploying in now. Once we connect all this, it should fix our uh, allies' AI a little bit. I'm surprised you haven't joined the war against um, against Germany quite yet. And I'm assuming you're now... Yeah, you've now released these guys as an independent country. Well, not, well independent, quote-unquote. They are still a puppet state. Uh, of course. Okay, so we have taken Stettin, which is fantastic news for us. Yeah, I mean, these, these German troops are kind of just, like, leaving, and I don't know where exactly they're going. But I'm also not going to ask. If they're going to leave, that's completely okay by me. Yeah, like, they're just all, like, just walking away. Which I'm fine with. Like, I'm not I'm not going to be mad at that they are uh, retreating from the front lines. I'm just, I'm just a little bit confused by it. Uh, so, you know, let's go for air production on you. While also researching, why not get the 1940 aircraft? It seems pretty good. What if we have you kind of go, like, up and around and try to make your way towards Berlin? 87, 99. Yeah, I'm guessing Germany went to go deal with the party commune and put troops on this border, even though they're not even in the war yet. I mean, that's my best guess, and I think it makes sense. Yeah, and you guys are basically going to march your way straight towards Berlin. Okay, now you're in the war. As you can see, you're immediately in combat. I'm surprised, like, I'm surprised some of these countries still exist and haven't been killed off quite yet. Where are you? What are you? You are true from the Ottomans. The Ottomans aren't in the war, right? No, because the Ottomans don't exist. Which would be a really good reason why uh, you have no organization or anything. Because you, your tag isn't real anymore. So I'm very confused about what you are hoping to uh, to succeed uh, with here. I mean, so far the war is going pretty well. Um... well of, course, of course the war is not going badly. Nobody, I think, could... Uh, to make that point. Yeah, 205 defense. Yeah, so now... I mean, and now it's actually, like, it's weirdly enough going, like, the other way. Where it's, like, you're not actually getting enough points. So I'm not too sure. I don't know if it's just, like, paradox math or... Something to uh, that, that, uh, that extent. I mean, will just taking Berlin be enough? Probably not. So let's push some of these troops to go towards Dresden. Because Dresden is worth 25 victory points. Um, we can maybe then take Bohemia for ourselves, which would not be uh, that bad. I mean, again, Berlin is the, uh, the main prize. It is worth 50 victory points. Where are you guys going? You're going over here. I mean, you can go towards Leipzig. It's also worth, it's worth 30 victory points. Yeah, you're just basically going to make your way towards Dresden. You guys are also on your way towards Dresden. I mean, these are all cities that we need to take. And now you're also going to take uh, Breslau, which we're 25. Okay, and Berlin actually did fall. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that, to be quite honest. But Germany's now at 41. So they're getting close to the point where the AI usually wants to uh, surrender. 
And we'll, we'll, we can tell when they surrender once the game basically stops. And it has to figure out what the hell is actually happening. Like, have you had... Is there, is there like a decision... Like a national spirit that's like collapsed in Germany or something? I mean, they got Imperial Pride. But I think that's just to make sure the AI doesn't capitulate naturally and only capitulates through the event. I might be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Okay, so Dresden will fall. Did you take Breslau? You did. You're actually uh, way past that point now. Okay, and there goes Dresden, Leipzig. So we, we should end... Um, we should end this episode fairly soon. If not ending like the entire series with the fall of... Uh, the fall of Germany here. Avenging, essentially, our... Um, our humiliation of Georgia back in, what, 1920? 1921? Whatever the game said it was. And there we go, the Reichspact has capitulated. And I don't think there's any countries that are going to be saved from it. Sudwest Africa, Cuba, Morocco. Okay, so there were a handful of countries. Morocco, South West Africa, Brazil. I mean, we might still be at war with Bohemia. I guess there's still a few countries we are technically at war with. Still war like Germany's Asia, which I find to be a... Uh, a weird choice for sure. So, okay. Let's first deal with the... the Germany's actually going to be a completely separate thing. Russia. You guys did a lot of good work against Sweden. I'm going to give this territory to the Norwegians. You can essentially have all of this land. For a job well done. You can take over uh, Lithuania. You can also take over Riga. Why not? So that, at least for now, is for sure Russian. But, you know, let's, let's also give away territory to the Internationale. You guys will have, say, most of Austria. And also Croatia. And you'll also have all of two Sicilies. Do a couple of passes. Um, Norway will have this. Russia will have a land. Does Romania get anything else, or should I just get the rest of the territory essentially to um? I mean, I guess we just kind of get the rest of it to Russia. I mean, like, what am I going to take here? Even though I did, like, I did do a lot of the work. You know, there's no doubt about that. Okay, I did give that to myself. So I guess I'll take over Denmark. Uh, because I didn't mean to. I was, I was meant to giving it to Russia. So you have the rest of Austria. You had all of it. No, actually, no. Illyria goes to... Serbia. Parts of... Yeah, because this, this will go to Serbia, because that's like Serbian territory. And if the AI, if Russia wants to give it to, um... What do you call it? They want to give it to Serbia anyways. So in a turn, that all goes to you. Serbia! You will have this land. Who killed Bul- I guess, you know, I guess I did kill Bulgaria. I, Bulgaria was my uh, conquest, but I will um, again. This, okay, this video is actually going a little bit longer than I thought originally, but that's okay. I'm gonna give that to Russia because I have no interest in it. So who are we technically still at war with? Germany and Germany's Asia. But I think Germany's Asia is going to capitulate with the collapse of Germany, anyways. Yeah. Okay, so pass, 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 pass. France, you are going to take... Let's try to see, like, what makes sense of, like, a French occupational zone. So that'll be the French occupational zone. That'll be the British occupational zone. And then you will be the Italian occupation zone. 
And then the rest kind of just goes to Russia. Where is Russia? There they are. And I, like... I guess for... You. You will take over this colony and that colony. Because I think that's kind of part of your, like, natural borders anyway. Everything else will just also go to Russia. I mean, it makes sense for... Russia to have some interest in this, in this uh, area. Okay, pass, 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 pass. And then we're going to go back to Russia again. Where is Russia? Russia, why are, you, why are you so hard to find on this list? There you are. Give them the rest of that land. Morocco joined the Cairo Pact. Not a huge surprise, and they do uh, usually do that. Francophone rhetoric. Okay. So you're going to justify wartime a little bit less. I mean, this, this is basically the end of this episode. In fact, it's actually going to be the end of the series. Um, so you can you can keep watching if you want to see kind of the post-war world and what it looks like. Or has been restored to Armenia. That's fine. Congratulations to Armenia. Demobilize. Ease of conscription. We will liberate Bulgaria. I don't think there's any territory I can give to um any of our allies, so it, it's fine as is. So, Russia, how will you guys split this up? Because France is still technically fighting against Antwerp. I mean, we're not, though. So, that's going to all go to France, I would imagine, once the war's over. We got very chunky Poland. Russia has released tiny um, Austria. I mean, Italy's still fighting against you. Bohemia, Hungary, Slovakia might also come out. Unless they release Czechoslovakia, which is not possible. Okay, Finland's been released. Also, yeah, give, give this to Bulgaria. I don't want this. There you go, Bulgaria. Have that. So you can see the Moscow Accord. It's, it's looking pretty good. Um, I mean, like, uh, what is it? Latvia? Being part of the international, if there was a war between the two of us, they probably would not last very long. Just a uh, guess. The fall of Vladivostok. I mean, the Ch and you're gonna kick out Japan, which is wonderful for them. I wonder if Russia's just gonna keep this area as like pop as a, either puppet state or just kind of like, own it as colonies. Probably release it because the AI always releases everything they can, uh, typically. Okay, so Britain still holds on to this territory. I don't think Austria can release anything from, um, or Italy can release anything from Austria for right now. Due to the way the borders right now actually are. So what I am going to do, again, we're going to go put it back on the state transfer tool, is... I will transfer you to you. There you go, you can have that territory. This land is going to go to the South German Union. And then you... No, unmark this state. That makes perfect. Italy it makes sense that Italy want that land. Okay, so we got the South German Union, we got a tiny little baby Austria. Russia doesn't seem like they have any interest in, like, releasing more land, which they should. There you go. They released tiny Hungary. Little, little, very babyish Hungary. I think the AI is just probably not releasing territory fast enough. Okay, so they've released, um, colonies down here. And then, of course, they will... What are you considering? Are you considering an occupied puppet? No, they're actually... They're giving, um, organization. Vietnam has been released. They'll probably release Laos uh, right afterwards. Yeah, Kingdom of Laos. Vietnam. War has ended with you. 
And it looks like you've released Shakia, which probably means you either go to Hungary or you'll go to Slovakia. A little bit harder. You know what? I'm just going to uh, just make this go a little bit faster. Because, you know, at this point, we're already 40 minutes into this video. We don't... You're going to attack Turkey. I'm going to be honest. Fate of Bergland. Give, give it to Austria. Sure. There you go. Okay, create Czechoslovakia. I mean, I guess, yeah, if you want to attack Turkey, I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird choice for you, to be honest. And then, what else can you do? I mean, you should have more stuff to do. Integrate Karelia, integrate Lithuania. So, I mean, you kind of want to annex it. I guess it kind of makes sense to be similar to, um... What do you call it? Poisson, give that to Poland. North Germany, create a North German state. Apparently we can give you to Poland. But, um... What was I going to say? I don't even remember what I was going to say anymore. It kind of makes sense that Russia might want to keep Lithuania as like a little puppet state. Or like an integrated part of the country. You know, similar to what, uh... Soviet Union did after World War II. Give that to Denmark. To give this land to Prussia. But I think that for right now, this is going to be a good time to end this episode and, and end this series. So thank you for watching my say handsome. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not to wait some down. You want to see me subscribe and goodbye.